Hey, what's up? T-R-O-Y, the maker, checking in. And this is a custom laser cut acrylic charm with the hidden message. And if this is your first time here, I do project videos using a Glowforge 3D laser printer. And if you like those type of videos, make sure you hit that subscribe button and the bell so you will be notified when I drop a new video. Welcome to the project. And I was thinking, I haven't made a project video on some laser cut jewelry in a while, but that ends today. But I had this one client that emailed me and he had this really dope idea. And if it's dope dope, you know I gotta share it with y'all cause Nah, we, we here, you know what I'm saying? Like, y'all understand me, we, we, we here, we understand each other. But forget all this talking, let's get to the design. As you can see, we got these four right here that's gonna be all connected using finger joints. And then we got this square right here with another square inside of it. And we have these two pieces right here. But these two right here are easy to do. I just created some, the length of these right here and I just combine two small circles to hook the jump ring to. And But I'm gonna show you how I did these finger joints. Now it's a lot of different ways on how you can do the finger joints and I'm just gonna show you how I did my finger joints. Okay, this is the shape that I started with. It is 0.76 wide by 1.35. And I started with this right here, which is 0.11 by 0.27. First thing I did was go up to this nudging factor and I changed it to 0.27. The reason why I changed it to 0.27 is because that's the height of it, it's 0.27 right here. So this is the height of this part, so I changed the nudging factor to 0.27. Okay, so the first thing I did was select the small square and I just put it inside of it like so. Select both of them, go up here to alignment and I lined everything to the left and then I lined it to the top, like so. So once I had it right there, I know that it is exactly in the corner of this shape right here. So the next thing I did was select it, edit, copy, edit, paste. And once I press paste, I just used the arrow key and I went down. And it goes down exactly 0.27 because of the nudging factor. And then I just command V, Press the arrow down, command V, press the arrow down to, I got it to fit all the way. So the next thing I did, I selected all five of these shapes, command C, command V, and just pressed it over. And while all of these are still selected, held down the shift button and selected this, the, the big square. Selected like so, went up here to alignment, and I lined everything to the right, like so. So it's on both sides. And the next thing I did, I just went over here to this virtual segment delete tool and I started on the outside right here and I just deleted all of the lines. Like I started right there and then you go opposite side. So you go to this one, you go to this one, this one, and then this one, and then this one at the bottom, like so. And then on this one, since we started on the outside, we're gonna start on the inside. So this one, this one, this one, this one, and this one. So the next thing I did, I just went over here to the Smart Field tool, selected everything, edit, cut, got my Select tool, and I just deleted this one right here, edit, paste. This is the one that I had just cut out, put a hairline around it, unfilled it, and this is what I use, and I just did, and I just copied this one three more times. So, and that's how I did the finger joint. Okay, before I cut it out, I got these graphics off of Glowforge Print. I just used the import artwork thing right here. And as you can see, I got the clovers. I used the text function right here to put the name and their birthdays. It's a set of twins. Their birthday is on St. Patrick's Day. And we got the clovers over here. And the other one is gonna have three at the top and the clovers at the bottom because one of the twins is three minutes older than the other twin. That's the idea that the dad had. And we just used a pot of gold and another four leaf clover right here. One of the twins is Mason and the other twin is Madison.
Okay, as you can see, we got it all cut out and I already put one of them together. Now I'm gonna show you how to put it together. You can start with any piece and it just snaps together, snap inside of it like so. We're gonna take that one, snap it right there, flip it down, snap that one inside of it, snap that one like that. And it all snaps together like so. Now that the masking paper is off, the part that's engraved, you just wanna sandwich them together. And then you wanna take this part and you wanna slide it right inside and let it be flush with the bottom. Stick it right inside, take your jump ring, hook your jump ring through it, slide your piece on top, and there you have it. Got it all put together. And there you have it, custom laser cut acrylic jewelry with the hidden message. If you like this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up and then like go to another account and then come back to this video and give it another thumbs up and I will, will appreciate it. Let me know in the comments if this sparked any idea and I will see you in the next project. Let's go make something else.